I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. If, you, if you're still in the same spot, if not better, then you didn't sacrifice. You just kind of gave of your abundance. Exactly. Likewise with ourselves. You know, if, if, if we, uh, by doing right by someone else, even when they're doing wrong to us, you know, we may feel like we're in a deficit. But what is, what is happening is, is we're actually giving God the glory. Yes. You know, because we're serving. We're serving just like Jesus served us when we were his enemies. We likewise learn to do the same. You Come know, on, man. You Amen. Yes, you preach for that's that a is sermon a, right there. That is. You're in the same space, place. As you Christ. ain't sacrificed. Come on, bro. I, I wrote that down. <laughs> did yeah, did yeah. I truly give? Did I truly sacrifice? Yes, sir. I know <laughs> it. And, yeah. it, and yeah. I think that's the whole point is, and, and the reason I think people should try to learn ministries and make sure remind them one another about it is because we're really talking about sowing. Yeah. You know, if, if I know what seed, if I know that I got to sow the fruit of the spirit, which is one, it's just, it's a fruit, but it's characteristics. Then we yeah. want to practice sowing that in our life and around others, right? Because mm -hmm. this scripture right here, Brother Addison, that you read. Before you, before you go to that, I just yeah. want to, I, I, when Brother Jackson said something, I had to go and pull that scripture up. Okay. Because in uh, verse 25, it says, if we live in the spirit, mm -hmm. let us also walk in the spirit. Yes. So now that means that people can live in the spirit and not walk in the spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. I agree. Mm. It'd be caught. That's mean. That's the same thing as being cardinally minded and spiritually minded. Yes. And and you can tell yourself, or you can tell when another person gets into the flesh, is yeah. when they start bearing the works of the flesh. Yes. You know. Because so it it answers a lot of questions that I have about people who profess to be Christians and not producing fruits of the spirit, right? fruits of the flesh. Yes. Mm. So they could be in the spirit yes. and not walk in the spirit. Come on mm. now. And that, 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 is, that explains a whole lot of stuff. Exactly. Uh, uh, but now to, to expose that, I guess I would have to pull up this act, these verses. Right, you know, in Galatians, and right. then read read uh, fruits of the flesh. Right, to well, these people, and, and then read fruits of the spirit, and then ask them, which ones you where pick? do you think you fall? Exactly, I think that I, that, I think that is responding in the spirit. Right, right. That's why I'm saying is, and you know, the Bible said it. The scriptures are, are there for reproof, for correction. Yes. See, and all we're trying to say is how is that bearing the fruit? How is that doing love? You know, you're just asking a person, reminding a person, you remind yourself too. Because when you walk away sometimes you say, well, that love, did I, did I dress yeah. this in love or did I dress this in the flesh? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's what people look at it. That's why I said like, it's, be careful because this script you read here, and this one I wanted right. to, to show. Hey, Elder. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good this is why I said, uh, uh, man, look at that. And, and that's why I'm saying it's so important for us to learn what we're sowing in life. Yes. Go ahead and read that for us again. Okay. Galatians 6, 7, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Yes. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting yes and let us not be weary in well-doing and what for in due well season <laughs> we shall reap if we faint not if we do well doing right yes yes come on now as we have therefore opportunity come on let us do good unto all men yes especially Unto them who are of the household of faith. Now, I, I, if I just understand what you just read, and if you want to break it down for me, 
that, what is that telling you? You want to break that down a little bit? Man, I can really, I can exegete this bad boy. Oh, you <laughs> but, you know, I, I like what the fact it even made it very clear that we're not just talking about uh, the church. It said all men. All. Oh. Come on, brother. All oh, men. All men. And, and so he said that we need to get into that point where we do we love one another in the household of faith because the Bible said, Sherman is saying is that they should know us how we love one another. Yeah. Because how they're going to recognize the church is because the church learned to love one another. Mm. We show in that love. And that's why I think it's important to remind people that these are the characteristics that you need to do. Because if you're so into the flesh, He's telling you, this is what you're going to get. Yeah. You're going to get hate. You're going to get violence. And, and that's why it's important, even in today's time, <clears throat> what's coming out of our mouth? There is a, there's one scripture that says, love covers a multitude of sins, right? Yes, sir. Come on, brother. And um, love, I think, manifests itself extremely. It, it's more evident when there's conflict or disagreement. Yeah. If you have two parties who are like at odds with each other over any particular issue, the way that they handle that situation is is, is pretty much a, a great uh, display of love. If they can maintain the fellowship, even in the midst of the difference. And I think that's what we should be known for. When we look at our nation and we see that there are political differences, there are ideological differences, and they have put it at odds with each other and divided the nation. There will be ideological and uh, you know differences among us in the house of God, but the way we handle it maintains the unity. How and we I think that, it. that's the thing that we have to really focus on. Yes, sir. I don't want you talking about how we handle it. Right. Because and, if we said we are a Christian nation, isn't that what we call ourselves? We are a Christian nation, and we may have Muslim, we may have a Hindu, and all these other things in our country. <laughs> But we we profess to say, and I agree with it, we are a Christian nation. So what's right now is that the world is looking at a Christian nation and how we are addressing our differences. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's important how we address those differences to the point where we actually keep that 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 level of a uh, of of a. Uh, Civility, right? Isn't that that's right. what you know, yes, sir. So that's what the world is watching for us doing, and we keep stepping on it, you know, then we're gonna we we're not being we're not being a good witness. And we need to learn yeah, that well, that's what it's all about. This is this world stage, this is an opportunity for the world to see. And I like you know, like it kind of reminds me of David when he did Goliath. He said, you know. You know, you come with your swords and shields and all that other stuff. I come in the name of the Lord. And yeah. to tell you the truth, this day the Lord shall deliver you in my hands and for the world to know mm -hmm. that there's a God, huh? <laughs> there's a God in Israel. We as a Christian nation using this opportunity to say there's a God in this country. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's only one God and we are servicing him and we go through, we work through him through Jesus Christ. Now, right, that bring that up, Brother Addison. You and I read this, but I guess we're going to let Brother Jackson read it. It's probably better than Brother Jackson read it. Uh, Sherman, you want to read some scriptures? You want, I don't want to pick on people when they... When hey, I, when go ahead I, and let Sherman read. Well, I want to go back to the first part of the sixth chapter. It's okay. talking about one who has fallen into sin. Yeah. And the rest of it is how we should pay careful attention to them yes, sir. in meekness and humbleness and Amen. how we get them back. And what, what Myron said earlier is maybe we can point out, you know, what the flesh sin was that they had uh -huh. if, they, if they don't understand it and then tell them, show them how they can move that away by bringing in a fruit of the spirit. Yes, sir. Uh, that was when it was read again. I said, "Wow, okay." So I'm talking to somebody. They know they've sinned. Yeah, I know they've sinned, and they're asking for help. Exactly. And how we can help them in meekness. Yes, sir. Humbleness. You're right, because like I said, if a brother, because right, start off from the beginning, right? 
if right. a brother is overtaken uh, in a fault, you, you, you brothers, you believers who are spiritual and walking in the spirit. Come on now. <laughs> Restore yeah. such a one where in the spirit. Scared of me. Come on now to remind and see that's one of the, the characteristics of the fruit, isn't it? Right. There it is. That's one of the characteristics. <laughs> consider that self, though. Look, look what it's saying, though, because you need to consider yourself, lest you also be tempted. Yeah. Because because that, that means that sometimes I may be the one that's in the flesh, and if I can restore in love somebody else. When I'm overtaken, which is possible, right? I don't know anybody has not been overtaken. Hey, the opportunity is there every day for us to be overtaken. Come on. That's you know, look at, we talked about it before when uh, when, Jeter, when when Peter had that revelation about Jesus being the son of God. And it wasn't too too soon after that. You know, Satan had, had uh, uh, you know, got in the midst of that and, and, and Jesus had to rebuke Peter. Yeah. You know, you know. Told him to hey Satan get thee behind me. So it, yeah. it happens all the time throughout the day. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's just it's a, I guess it's it's just a normal part of of this flesh yeah. that we have to deal with. You know, it's 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 not the flesh winning the battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, yeah. fle it, the flesh is just at odds against you at all times so there are times where it may it may show itself uh -huh. but then you put it back in place amen yeah. you know what i'm saying amen. so um which is 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 the same thing that you know it goes from from one level to the next because yeah. you look at the church it's the same way it's the same way the church oh. is the same way because yeah. When you look at that unity Come on. that is in the church, when you're in a local church Come on. congregation, everybody is on one accord. Come on now. Come on. And the joy and the 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 the, the peace, all the fruits of the spirit are are just present, in, in operation and present there. Yeah, you know, uh, there's people that are healed. There's people that are free from bondage. You know, and 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 their situation and circumstances just fall away in that corporate anointed. Yeah, group. yeah. And the world does not see that. No, because the fact is that the world, the the building is the huddle. Right? Yes. The you, building you is, is hiding that. It's like that is the holiness of holies. Uh -huh. and the veil is there so that the world cannot see. But my brothers, that needs to be on the outside. Exactly. That's, that's why I said walk in the spirit, right? Walk in the spirit. Come on, yes. He, the Bible even said that he is led by the spirit of God. I call the children of God. And yeah. to be led is to be led in the spirit. You're not led in the flesh. You land in the spirit, you know, and so, yes. so so therefore we both, and then we must walk by faith every day, right? That that's the whole point. That we walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah. So with that in mind, let's go to the other piece that kind of falls into this. What we're living in today is uh, the taming of the tongue. <laughs> now, you, Jeremy, you said you want to read that, or uh, you wanna you want Brother Jackson read it. I'll yield. Okay, Brother Jackson. <laughs> All right, brother. I like right, the way you read. Out of James, starting in ch chapter 3, verse 1. My brethren, be not as many masters, knowing that ye shall receive the greater condemnation. Yes, sir. For many things we often offend all. Mm. If, if any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man, and what? be able also to bridle the whole body. Yes, sir. Behold, we put bits in the horses' mouths yes. that they may obey us, yes, and sir. we turn about their whole body. Yes, sir. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet they are turned about with a very mm. small helm, with ever so, whether soever the governor listed. Yes, sir. Even so, the tongue is a little member Come on. and boasts great things. Yes, sir. Behold, how great! A matter, a little fire kindling. 
Oh, I can kill a fire. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> and the tongue is a fire. Yes, sir. A world of iniquity. Uh huh. So is the tongue among our members that oh. it defileth the whole body. Wow. And, and mm -hmm. setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. Woo. Wow. <laughs> the tongue. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind. Yes, sir. But the tongue can no man tame. Come on now. It is an unruly evil, full oh. of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Okay. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. What? My brethren, these things are not so to be. Heavy, huh? Do the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Yeah. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt and salt water and fresh. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Come on. Can he show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom? Yes, sir. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, what? glory not, glory what? not, and lie not against the truth. What? This wisdom, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. Woo! Woo! Well, that 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 hits. That hit. He <laughs> play it. <laughs> For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. No, it can't be true. <laughs> but the wisdom that is from above. Is first pure, uh -huh. then peaceable, Brother, gentle, and easy to be entreated. Yes, sir. Full of mercy and good fruits. Good fruit. Without, without partiality uh -huh. and without hypocrisy. Yes, sir. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Come Amen. on, brother. Woo. Come on, man. That, that thing, that is full. That's full. Uh, of, of a lot of stuff here. And why he's saying is that we as believers, we have to, to to tame that tongue and we tame it through the Holy Spirit, right? That's what you can't, in other words, you can't tame this in the flesh. Right, right. You know, so I'm going to come off of it. So, you, but if you got your Bible, you can go refer back to it. <laughs> but Brother Addison, you want to tell us, one of the things that Brother Addison was talking about, we're talking about Thursday, is that verse 10. That verse 10. Uh, was very clear, it wasn't Brother Addison. Well, yeah. well you want to read? Can, you have your Bible with you? If not, I, I'm pull, not pull it back up. I'll pull it back up. One second. Check this out. Elder. out of the same mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Proceeded blessings and curses. Mm. Yeah. Right. Tell him, Brother Addison, what verse 10 talking about? <laughs> out of the same mouth proceeded blessings and curses. My brother, these things ought not so to be. Come on. And I look, all I can say is ouch. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm not perfect and I don't claim to be, but I'm telling you, this uh this, this ain't playing. This, this is, is something playing. right here. Um <laughs> and, and you know, and this is the thing. What? I know it ought not be. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't care and you and you just let the flesh have its way and you just go on and 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 you you blast somebody. You blast somebody. You otherwise you get into the flesh. Yeah. And so John, what I'm trying to say is that that's if we're talking about equipping the saints, one of the things about equipping the saints is to focus on uh what are our characteristics. <laughs> That we should portray is is it is not legalism. You know what I mean? It, this is not legalism, is it? But this is no. not, this is has nothing to do with how what, what kind of shirt you wear, how often you come to church, how often you 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 you, you what it does have nothing to do with legalism. No, it it doesn't. Do it doesn't. You know, our, our God, God, our Father. He, he is our king, our sovereign king. And whatever he says, 
then that is how it should be in a kingdom. In the kingdom, yeah. And we are of that kingdom. We're ambassadors mm -hmm. here on earth. Come so on. if God says that, <laughs> then we are, I mean, there is no, no, you know, we can't add anything to it or take anything away from that. That is what we are to do. We should walk in the in the spirit, right? In the spirit. Yes, if, if 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 our king tells us that, oh. then that is what we are to do. Um, it's just amazing that how this flesh is always warring against our king. And you know what the Bible said, in my flesh dwell of what? No good thing. No good thing. And, and then the other thing I like about it in John 15, you can't even bear these characteristics. You can't, you can't do that without him. No. And that, and I think that's where people mess up on the fact that I said, I need Christ. Yeah. I, I, I need to crucify this flesh daily. And I need to bear the fruit. Go ahead, Brother Jackson. Well, I was going to say, it always makes me go back to thinking about our Lord Jesus, you know, and what he, what he went through. Um, you know, we know it's unimaginable, but the fact that he, yes, he was 100% God, but he, yes, he was 100% man. Yes, sir. Which means he had the greatest war, yes, warfare sir. going on. He had the greatest warfare going on. And, of course, Satan was working on him at all times, yes, at all times. And so, you know, I think about so often how how he uh, would always go and pray and pray and pray. And, you know, and then he would come back and, and uh, you know, I, I think he was being, uh, you know, I don't know the exact word, but he, he certainly without prayer and having that relationship with the father and, and speaking so intimately with the father and isolating himself at times from everyone yes, to sir. include the disciples. Yes, sir. So that he could come back and and knowing that he was being tempted with all of those things, I think it was Brother Byron uh, just said because you had talked about it there in uh, in Galatians, man, knowing the, the the fruits of the flesh, right? Yeah. I mean, he was going through that. Yeah. So it was a tremendous uh, feat, uh, and so it kind of tells me because sometimes we think we can just say something, yeah, and uh, and it's just going to work. No, no, it's going to cost us. It's, it's going to cost us, um, and we're going to feel it. You know what I mean? And um, and I think that's why sometimes we 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 may feel schizophrenic, <laughs> you know, because here we are living in the in the flesh um, at times. But knowing we need to, as we said earlier, no, we need to not just live in the in the spirit, but walk in the spirit. And to walk in the spirit, it is of no, uh, it's nothing that we do. Yes. Okay? It's of God the Father, and and that is just a oh man, it's a it's a miracle, really, to be honest with you. Yeah. But it's but it's one that we get to be a, a part of, uh, because of the grace of God. Amen. Amen. There, there is a uh, place where it's where it says, "Trust in the Lord all our heart, lean not to our own understanding, in all our ways, in all all thy ways acknowledge Him, He will direct your path." Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So it had tendency, I know for myself, I did not understand that me reckoning without the reasoning of Christ or without the leading of Christ is me operating in the flesh. And I come to realize that I don't ever have enough information. I never have enough information to make an equitable decision. Mm. So the best thing that I can do is listen to the voice of God and go in accordance with what he's leading me to do and to say. That is not a natural behavior on my part. My natural behavior is to answer the question before it's asked get a little bit of information and run with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. but, but when I'm learning after a mistake, after mistake, after mistake, that don't do that. <laughs> because oh, every no. time I've done it, it always falls apart. Regardless of what my good intent is, I always seem to miss something that causes offense, that causes somebody to stumble, or causes a conflict. So what I'm learning is that I need to be listening to a living God 24-7, yeah, and, and uttering what he tells me to say, and when you don't say nothing, then just don't say nothing in response, and there's no need to speak when he's not speaking. Exactly. Don't do things that you don't, you're not led to do, and I, and for me, I can honestly say this is a learned behavior. Yes. Something I'm still yes. working on. It's, it's, Come on. It's, <laughs> I'm working it. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning to listen. 
And, and Amen, brother. And you know what's here? And that's what we're saying is that far as the importance of us knowing what the characteristics of the fruit is, if we, that's to me, that's a learned behavior with God. But you need to understand what those characteristics are so that you can practice. Bishop, we're talking about the fact is that we are saying is if you ask people, do they know what the characteristics of the fruit of the spirit are? And and say if you can get, I would say we said six of them, right, brother? Asa? If you get six, we get your seventy passing score. Now I know these engineers probably say it's not six, but I know you can get a point. You can't get a point out of it, so you got you either got to get a seventy or a hundred. But uh, I can't get a point. What is it? it what, what's you guys mouth? What I need to do to get 70 out of nine? 90. I mean, nine. Yeah. Huh? You get six questions right, you'll get a 66.666. Oh, we, we can round up to a Lord, seven. <laughs> hey, he, he's, that's interesting, y'all. <laughs> he said, no, if we get six right, we just, we got the six, six, six. <laughs> Point six. <laughs> Well, maybe so you can round need to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go for seven. Yeah, maybe maybe we need to keep going. <laughs> yeah. We said we need at least seven. You need at least seven. Hey, that's perfection, right? So we need seven out of nine that we at least need to know we bear fruit, right? Characteristics. <laughs> and 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 you know, I like this and, and uh Mark, it was it's Romans chapter eight, verse one. I think it's one or two. It said to be carnally minded is death. Yes. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Once again, it's talking about those characteristics of, of the fruit. You know, why it's so important for us to know what the fruits are, the characteristics of the fruit, because if you don't, here it is right here, uh, Brother Jackson. Tell, tell them what they are right here, Brother Jackson. I think it's like one and three. I think it is. <clears throat> Romans 8, 1 through 3. Yeah. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes, sir. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Uh -huh. Amen. For what the law could not do, and that which it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemn sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. Go to six, bro. There's where there's another characteristic all the way to six. Verse six. For to be carnally minded is death, what? but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. And how many people you know that want to sit there and say they want peace? Huh? How many people in life always seeking peace? Huh? Mm -hmm. But you can't find peace in the flesh. Yeah. Right. You can only find it in the spirit. Uh, right. Bishop, one of the things they talked about, Bishop, was uh, uh, Brother Asen started off with the golf course. This is an uh, analogy. I guess that, that what you call it. It was like a parable of, yeah. of, 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 of how to go through the course. And you know how people try to overtake you, uh, can do better for you. I don't know, just rule breaking. And then how to address it is somewhere in the spirit is <laughs> those characteristics. Is what has to be manifested just to get through. What's up, Jimmy? When Jimmy shows his picture, that means you get ready to say you mute it. <laughs> nah, I don't I don't have anything to say, but good morning, brothers. Oh, good morning, good morning. Good morning, man. Good morning. Good morning. So